Continuing with my SQL tutorials, um, if you haven't watched the previous tutorials, I recommend that you do because we're building onto them. Uh, so in previous tutorials, I obviously have shown you how to search through our database table. So you can see right here, we have our table within our database. The table is called users and we have five users in there. Uh, Chris, Bob, Jen, Tom, Billy. Well, uh, as you can see, we have um, two jo people with last name Jones, both Bob and Tom. So what we can do is if we did select asterisk from users, it displays everything uh, for all the uh, fields in the user table. And we've also gone over, we can say where and our fields are f name, l name, and username. We can say f name equals, and then we'll say in this case Jones. And actually, that's that's a last name. Let's do a search for last name. So last name Jones. If we hit enter, you can see it displays all the information for every user who has the last name Jones, which is Bob and Tom. So we can see their first name, last name, and their username. Now, if we want to narrow down that list, and we can say uh, everyone with last name Jones, we can say and uh, f name equals Bob. Now it searches both field uh, last name and first name so that we can narrow down the list even more. Uh, so that is searching for multiple uh, fields. Uh, in MySQL. So once again, we can do it with my last name. We'll say last name Acapinti. And once again, I got to spell my last name right. There's so many I's in my last name, I always miss one. Okay, we'll hit enter there. And you can see both me and my wife and our usernames. But I can say and F name equals Chris. And you can see it narrows down the list. And you can also do other fields like. Uh, username and I can say metal x1000 there's only one of those anyway because I'm the only one with that username uh, but you get the idea so you can say where something and something and you can continue on if we had 10 fields you can search where the first name and the last name and the username and the sex and the birth date you know and you can go on and on uh, you can also kind of do that reverse so we can say where the last name equals Acapinti and the first name astro or exclamation point equals. So it does not equal. We went over that in a previous tutorial, Chris. So this should display my wife's name. I hope I'm right. So there we go, Jen Acapinti, because the last name does equal Acapinti, but the first name does not equal Chris. So just a little bit more on MySQL. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. I still have more coming at you. MySQL is uh, very commonly used. And um, in the future, I might go over using it with PHP. Maybe. I'm not very good with that. But the commands are basically the same because we're just using MySQL commands, the select from where. And it just varies a little bit on how it's displayed since you'll be using PHP. You'll probably be displaying it out to an HTML format. So that changed a little bit, but the commands are all basically the same. So if you learn what I'm teaching you here now, you can look at a PHP code and pretty much get what they're doing because the, the MySQL commands are the same. So we're going to continue building on this. Keep on watching. I'll have more tutorials for you soon. Have a great day.